to start with last night's football and that crazy game at, in particular at Chelsea. They came back to win stoppage time as Cold Palmer saved them yet again. It's Cole Palmer! He's done it! A hat-trick! Chelsea win! This is absolutely unbelievable! It's been unbelievable. So much confidence. So cool, calm and can't speak highly enough of it. Yes, Cole Palmer, hat-trick last night, 16 Premier League goals for the season. I think he's played, what, 25 appearances? I mean, he has been absolutely outstanding. Um, last night when Chelsea really needed him again, he stepped up. Now, Dan, you, I know you rate him extremely highly, and I want to know what you guys think, 03717 but, I mean, what's he ceiling? Like, does, it, does he go to the Euros 100%? He has to go. Well, I don't know if he will 100% because I don't know what Gareth's thoughts are. When you think of Saka and Jarrod Bowen right side, does he see Madison ahead of him as a 10? I don't know, yeah. but he would for me. At the moment, he's in better form than Madison. I'm not saying he's better because Madison's got longevity in the Premier League, season in, season out, season yeah, in. So, But for me, the biggest quality he's got is his temperament. Yes, he's a wonderful footballer. Technically, he can you know go past beam, score goals. His passing's tremendous, but so cool, calm, and the even last night. Every time I watch him, when Chelsea are struggling, and there's a fans are a bit ooh and ah, and you know gone to three two, he's dropping in centre mid, getting on the ball. Mm. Then he's popping up as a ten. Then he's back on the right. Then he's trying to make passes, killer passes that can get you groans. Yeah. That's that's courage, and he's got it in abundance. I met people, you know, sometimes it's naivety of youth, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. This lad, this lad's got everything he needs to, yeah. to to stay at the top for a long, long time. End product as a forward player. If you play on the right, you play as a ten. You play on the left, or you play as a nine. You've got to score goals and make goals. Mm. And his numbers are amazing. I mean, to get sixteen and. To put in a bit of context as a midfield player, now when I say midfield player, I'm not talking about like Ian Hazard was a forward, mm. but the last Chelsea player, I mean it's obvious who the midfielder is going to be, to get 15 Premier League goals in a season was obviously Frank Lampard. Mm. 2012-13 season. That's the last time a Chelsea midfield player got into 15 Premier League goals. So that tells you what he's doing. He, do you know what? City fans must be watching and thinking, oh my God. Yeah. I know they've got Foden, Oscar Barb, but they've got loads of good young pl yeah. talent and it's that, there's reasons players leave, I get it, but he's good enough to play for them. You think, you know, well, he, I mean, he was playing for them. He was in the squad at a young age. He was playing games, but not enough. Yeah. He wanted to leave and I admire that in him. Yeah. And he's now the main man at Chelsea. I mean, even when they signed him, I knew he was decent, but I never knew he was this good. Did you? Do you know, I'd watched him play and it was one of those where I'd seen him quite a lot for the under-21s England and... There were a few times where you'd say his attitude maybe didn't match the ability because you'd go, hmm, I didn't quite like that. But his ability on the ball, oh my goodness, he used to, he used to run games. You know, when, you know when you talk about that, it's an interesting one because some players look like they're working harder than others. Yeah. You know, some players look like they're working... I'll give you an example. Andy Johnson came to Fulham. Yeah. Fans loved him after 10 minutes because he, he's, it looks like he's, he's on full speed around, yeah. Yeah, all the time. Now, Berber, who the fans did end up loving, of yeah. course, but sometimes he looks a bit pff, bothered. Yeah. But his numbers tell you he's, he's running the same as everyone else. Yeah. It's the way players look to the eye. Yeah. I think Cole Palmer's another one of them. Sometimes he looks a little bit, you know, just having a little five minutes or yeah. whatever. But he does his defensive work. Do I've know, got no worries with him on do, that. Do you know he's a little bit like that? And again, I was at the game West Ham versus Spurs um, earlier in the week about their work rate. On the ball, they're lovely, but their work rate's incredible. Pacatar. Mm. He works like I thought. I knew how good he was on the ball, mm. but his work rate was the thing. I went, "Oh my goodness!" Well, he plays centre mid for Brazil. He doesn't play as a ten. He just gets around, gets after mm. people. But Cole Palmer, I mean, do, do you think he is one of the signings of the season? And I know there's loads of Declan Rice has been brilliant. Cole Palmer's been brilliant. There's, there's going to be loads of them in there. Like Liverpool, have probably got Alexis McAllister. He's been very good. It depends whether you're looking at value for money, impact. I mean, the biggest impact for me as a signing is Van de Ven. Oh my goodness, wow. What about him? He's, he's been the biggest impact. Yeah. He's the one player for Tottenham when you think, oh my God, you don't want him to be injured. Everyone else they can cover. Yeah. Really, don't you think? Yeah. But I would have Cole Palmer second, McAllister maybe third, or, you know, like something like that. Yeah. Because you've walked into a huge club who are struggling as a young player, and all the other young players, none of them have shone like him. No. And he's got, how many goals did you say? Eight, six, 16, 16 goals, eight assists. It's mad that. But he is, I mean, Pens well, still got a score. Yeah, but I know. But when people say that about Pens, it's it's part of the game. It is. It is. But. And the fact that he's, no, I mean, it, it helps. Yeah. It helps your goals. 
Look, I love him. He, he's got years ahead of him of being one of you know like a superstar. I, I think I mean he's going. He's Chelsea's best player already, yeah. but easy, easily, yeah. No, no one close. No, and as long as they progress and as long as they you know, sort of things that become a bit more competitive over yeah. the next year or two. You see him stay in there because yeah. he'll enjoy that big fish. I say big fish, it's a huge club, but he's now become the main man. Yeah. Where he's playing every week. So he'll only get better by playing every week. Yeah, and he won't go anywhere. The thing is with, look, the thing is with him, and this is the problem Gareth's got, and any future manager, if Gareth leaves in the summer, after the uh, Euros, where does he play? Yeah, because he can't play 10 because Bellingham's there. Unless you play... Two tens with one holder, a new manager might do that. Yeah, don't you think? Then people say Phil Foden should play. Exactly. Oh, okay. All right. Well, listen. Still to come. But he's got more goals than Saka. <laughs> you had to get that one, didn't you? We yeah. want to talk about Saka. Well, we are because I mean Saka's a wonderful player. Don't yeah. I love him? You know, he's a, he's a right winger out and out. But yeah. Palmer's kind of playing there, even though he's a ten. But his all round game, you could argue, is better. Yeah. I'm not saying he's a better right winger than Saka, but his all round footballing ability in terms of passing, linking, dropping in, because Saka doesn't play that role, does he? So no. it's not really a fair comparison. But I mean, I, I don't see why it's not an argument to have that he could take the place of anyone in the England team other than Bellingham because of his numbers. Talking about Cole Palmer and that performance, and even the game last night, what a game it was. This guy speak to Ryan, he's a Manchester United fan. Ryan, how are you doing? I'm doing good, man. How are you doing? Yeah, we're good. We're good. So, first of all, talk to me about the result last night and what went wrong. And secondly, Cole Palmer, what are you thinking about him? Should he go to the Euros? Absolutely, mate. I think Cole is an outstanding player. Mm. Um, one thing that does that I do wonder about is where Man City might be if he were still there. Obviously, they're they're close. You know, they're only a point or two behind. But I just can't help but feel if they had him as well. To add to that firepower, you know, they might be in first and out of sight by now as well. Yeah, the only thing with that is, though, because he, he wasn't getting as much game time as he wanted, confidence grows when you play more. And maybe because Absolutely. he's, you know, at Chelsea, he's been given this platform, just go play, play, play. Maybe he's just, maybe his confidence wouldn't be at the same level if he was getting a game every four or half an hour here. So things happen for a reason. But I, I don't see why he can't go in that, get in that England, uh, be in that England squad. I really don't. No, I don't either, and I think he's definitely got to be on the plane. You know, he's made he's made a case for himself this season. It's clear for everyone to see that he should definitely be on the plane. But I think I agree with you both in terms of, you know, I don't think he starts ahead of Saka. Not at the minute, anyway. No. I think Saka is just unplayable when he's on form. He is, yeah. Cole is as well, don't get me wrong, but I think Saka, like you say, he's just got that. He's, he's proven it, you know, for a few seasons now, so... I think Saka starts for me, but Cole's definitely got to be on the plane there. 100%. Great call, Ryan. Let's quickly go to the final speak to John. John's a Manchester City fan. John, how are you doing? Hiya, hiya guys. You OK? Hey, John. Johnny Murphy, you hit, hit the nail on the head there about playing regular and confidence. Quick one. So, I spoke to your your um, sidekick, Mr uh, Goldson, and said, just bubbling under the surface at Manchester City, there's a player called Cole Palmer. And he said, you can't win anything with kids. I said, the Alan Hansen statement. And that's the year we won the treble. Let's get on to Cole here. So why would you not put him on the plane? He can, So Saka gets injured, Cole Palmer goes in there. The creative engine at number 10 is not creating, Cole Palmer can go in there. Mm. And it, I'm saying he can, he can cover multiple positions and we always get a penalty shootout. Well, Cole Palmer, mm. bring him on if he's not on. He's on. Well, he's also so played a false nine, hasn't he, for Chelsea? Yeah. Could say. Did, did that beautifully as well. He has. He's, he's played. So what I'm trying to say is, he's not a utility player. He's far better than that. Let's just nail it. He's a quality footballer. But if you serve your apprenticeship partly under Guardiola yeah. and under the likes of David Silva, Yaya Torre, how can you fail not to know what a professional footballer mm. needs? It's a, it's a great point. The only thing is, I, I've got a feeling that Gareth thinks, or, or may think, putting words in his mouth, and I agree if he can he, number two to Saka, number two to Bellingham. Yeah. But is Madison in Gareth's thoughts to play as a 10 ahead of Cole Palmer and is Jared Bowen ahead of Cole Palmer yeah. in Gareth Southgate's foot because at the moment the squads are only 23 I think yeah. there's a meeting this week about trying to extend the squads to 26 which yeah. makes Gareth's problem go away of course yeah but if it is only 23 who, 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 who doesn't go that's the thing would, that, you, would, would you have out the, if you had if you could right 
Let's make this. <laughs> let's put you on the spot here. On. I know you're presenting today, yeah. but let's put you on the spot. Go on. Bowen, Madison, Palmer. Yeah. Two can go. I'm taking Bowen. Deserves it. Been brilliant all season. Right. Consistency. Um, and he can play up top. Exactly. <sighs> Probably Madison, you know, and Cole might have to wait. Based on I mean, history. Should- History, yeah. But I've heard you on here saying that it should be about who's doing what now. You've you've had a go at Andy for saying yeah. you, Gareth can't pick players on what they've done in the past. No, but, I'm talking, yeah, but not in the past, but Madison at the minute. I know he's maybe not playing as well, but start of the season was incredible. That's months ago. You think? Well, so you'd leave Madison behind, wouldn't you? You didn't ask me the question. Okay, I'm asking you now. <laughs> <laughs> so, who are you leaving behind? Um, not Bowen. You cannot be Bowen. Yeah. Oh, my God. He's on great... At the moment... He's been unbelievable. I love Madison. I was the one banging a drum for him to play at the start of the, the World Cup. Do you know Because what? he was playing brilliantly. Do you know what? We'll but back. he's not back he's not back to his best yet. No. And I think you want all the players playing well. Or you could I mean Madison could play Palmer and Madison could play on the left. You could leave Rashford out, but I think Rashford goes because of his pace. Talk sport drive. Super opinionated sporting debate. Monday to Friday afternoon from four on AM on DAB via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk sport.